he's just a really nice guy. Really nice guy. Mike, Mark Wahlberg doesn't really make very much effort towards like changing what you might think about him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he doesn't yeah. really care. And mm -hmm. um, I respect that. Yeah. But Antonio Banderas is like, gives me hope that we're not all destined to be jaded. And, um, you know, he's like really, he seems really grateful for everything. Yeah. Which is cool. Hey everyone, Anna Rumor here at Pop Culture, and today I have with us one of the stars of the new movie Uncharted. We've got Sophia Lee with us. Welcome. Hi. Thank Thanks you. so much for joining us today. I'm super excited for Uncharted. I mean, who doesn't love a treasure hunt? Can you tell us a little bit about your character, Chloe, and what drew you to her? Chloe's a badass fighter yes. girl who goes after treasure and every anything else that she wants. I mean, if you think about it, someone's like set their goals on treasure, like. <laughs> Any, the I sky's can't. the limit for her. The sky's yeah. the limit. She's not, there's nothing that's holding her back. She's so badass. She's so cool. She's very strong. I love it. I can't imagine that was very hard for you to channel. You're a very strong woman yourself. Um, thank you. We just met. That's so nice of you to say. <laughs> back at I mean, you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But yeah. it must be fun to just kind of bring that part of yourself out and bring it into your character. Um thank you for that because like there was so many times where i was like i'm just not strong enough for this no way <laughs> you know what i mean like i mm -hmm. thought especially when i was playing the games so like mm -hmm. badass in the games and she's so capable and i was it made it intimidated me a little bit i was like huh am i gonna be able to do this accurately am i gonna <laughs> she's so strong she's so badass like yeah well, i know i'm an actor and everything that? but um were you like jumping on buildings in your spare time like pumping you know cars Wait, i mean not in my spare time i think that's yeah. that's a normal for me um jumping <laughs> off buildings and stuff yeah. um um i use like you know the the power cords is like uh um swing ropes. Little ropes yeah absolutely. yeah that's day off yeah <laughs> yeah exactly um but working out helps so much for me yeah, we did some like strength training and endurance training and fighting training and stuff like that. And um, stronger I got, the more capable I felt. And it, yeah, it did. It it built my confidence up a bit. That's awesome. Was there anything while you were filming that was like really <laughs> stuck out to you? Was like, if I can achieve this, if I can do this scene, then we're over. We're over the most intimidating part. Um, everything was always a surprise to me. I wouldn't really think that it would be intimidating and then I would show up and, and it was. Um, yeah. <laughs> like the first stunt we did, I was climbing a 10 foot urn and I was, you know, hooked up. And that was, that was just scary because it was the first and it exploded and I had to fall. <laughs> um, and I wanted to make it look realistic. You know, I didn't want to make it look like I was on wires falling. So I was, I told, you know, the wire guy, that's not, that's definitely not the official title of his job, but yeah. <laughs> I'm going to call him the wire guy. Um, yeah. Drop me, like do it, just drop me, just make it look real. Oh and um, he did, you know, do the best, to the, the most he could, like not completely. I didn't hurt right. myself at all, but um, yeah. it was really scary falling and trusting the wire guy. I don't even know his name. <laughs> <laughs> and yet your fate hanging his balance. <laughs> My life. Yeah. I was trusting yeah. nameless wire guy. <laughs> the more I say wire guy, the more like creepy he sounds. <laughs> I know, right? He's becoming an insidious wire character. guy. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, you got to work with so many cool people in this movie too. I mean, Tom Holland playing Nate, your love interest. What was it like? Getting to work I don't with know him who that, that is. Way. Yeah, right. Who? <laughs> Total stranger. Never heard that name in my life. Mm -hmm. um, it was great. He's such a professional. He just is so good at his job. So good. Absolutely. Knows exactly what he's doing. Great and person so to what, learn from. I was going to say, was there anything that you learned from each other or you learned from him? I don't know if he learned anything from me. Probably he better. Not. Yeah. <laughs> How to talk to women. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he was fine. He was fine before. Um, 
<laughs> I, I learned a lot around, uh, he's a really good diplomat. Mm -hmm. He's like very diplomatic. And, mm -hmm. and I know that that's an important job, part of the job, but I think like to see him do it so effortlessly, it was like a nice, okay, yeah, like it's not so hard. Yeah, right, right. Suck it, it up. It look natural. Be nice to people. <laughs> Sometimes that can be the hardest part. <laughs> Well, and you had uh, the rest of it, the cast was also totally all star. I mean, Mark Wahlberg, Antonio Banderas. What was that like? What was the cast chemistry like? Um, probably exactly what you would imagine. Vastly intimidating. That's what I'm imagining right now. <laughs> yeah, just like intimidate and like, you know, they're, 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 they're so veteran in it. And it feels like, you know, for them, especially Mark, he's just going through the motions, you know? Um, and I honestly, like, I love Mark's approach. He just doesn't really give a beat. Yeah. Um, and I love that. Uh, not trying to impress anyone or anything like that. He just knows, like, he's Mark Wahlberg and he's there. He's staple. Um, and same with Antonio, but it was different, you know? He was way more eager to have conversations and, mm -hmm. and, um, He's just like, a, he's just a really nice guy. Really nice guy. Mike, Mark Wahlberg doesn't really make very much effort towards like changing what you might think about him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he doesn't yeah. really care. And mm -hmm. um, I respect that. Yeah. But Antonio Banderas is like, gives me hope that we're not all destined to be jaded. And, um, you know, he's like, really, he seems really grateful. For everything yes yeah. cool still having fun on set yeah uh, yeah after everything that he's done you know to still be like wow i'm here and i'm so lucky it's cool that is cool i mean was there any moment on set where you were like this is going to be a core memory for me or I, I can't believe that this is happening in this moment one time antonio Vendez came up and i i'm saying his full name on purpose because we're that close, oh, we're that tight. We're, we're <laughs> he's my best friend, so yeah. you know we're on we're on a two name basis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, a first and last name basis, yeah. Yeah, uh, right. Antonio. So anyway, Antonio Banderas came up to me and he whispered a line from Zorro. <gasps> I told him oh previously that it was my favorite movie growing up, and um, I'm a huge fan of him. Yeah. yeah. And then oh, that just like became even more so. I was like, wow, this is definitely something that I'm never going to forget. And yeah. I didn't know I needed until it happened. Yeah, you're, I mean, I hope Wire Guy was there to catch you as you fainted from that moment. Wire Guy was always there. Yeah. He was creepy <laughs> after a while. Honestly, honestly. I told you. To stay, stay behind in his uh, Wire Guy is a freaking grief. That was the biggest <laughs> obstacle in Uncharted, honestly, getting over the fact that Wire Guy was <laughs> in control of my life. <laughs> right, just peering around the corner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and so this whole story being based on a video game, did that affect your performance in any way, shape, or form? Or what, did, were you playing the game at a time? Or what, how did that affect everything? Well, it's like an origin story. Mm -hmm. You know, so I really leaned into the fact that that she isn't completely 100% her in the games yet. You know, she's yeah. there, there's still like a little bit of a discovery there. Um, and I love that. It's almost like finding little pieces. It's a puzzle a little bit, you know, like I know where she ends up. Yeah. Never, ever done anything like that, which is so cool. And so I've tried to mimic her in a lot of ways from the games, but then leave room for growth. Yeah, absolutely, for a sequel. If, yeah, if that happens, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and if you were ever gonna go on your own treasure hunt, like you, Sophia, going on a treasure hunt, what would you go searching for? Hmm, I've been asked that question before. What did I look? Oh, I was like, oh, I'll go to India. Um, I feel like Atlantis. You find something is, cool. Ooh, yeah, Atlantis. Atlantis. But that's like a cop out answer. <laughs> Let me think. What's an old historic treasure? 
I, I mean, know, my Holy history. Grail is always something. Um, Holy Grail. People- I'm going to go after the Declaration of Independence. Yes, Nicholas Cage call, style. Call me Nicholas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> National Treasure 5 or whatever. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Awesome. People have told me my whole life I look exactly like him. So it's, it's just. I see it. I see it. It's thank the you. general thank vibe. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much for talking with us. I can't wait to see Uncharted when it comes out on February 18th. Thank you. Same. Awesome. Well, have a wonderful rest of your day. And everyone watching at home, uh, check out popculture.com. We'll have more on the movie there.